Welcome to day three. Now children, what is your most favourite job on the farm? Mucking out. Mucking out what? The pigs. Oh yes, now. <laughs> the problem with where we keep our pigs is that it is not big enough for machinery, so we have to go back to basics with a shovel <laughs> and a wheelbarrow. So that's the first wheelbarrow done. Um, if you, Charlie, want to take that and tip that and come back with some straw. Yeah, can you get the shovel off? Yeah, I'll take the shovel off in a minute. You come back with some straw. Harry, you can go and help him load up with straw. Yeah. Thank you. So this is one of our mum pigs. You see she's got some little piglets. This one has got seven, I think. No, this one's got seven. They are two weeks old. Um, we always feed the pigs before we let them out. Why is that, Chloe? Why do we feed the pigs? Otherwise they can escape. Yeah, they like to escape, they like to push past. So we always feed them in the morning, uh, or whenever it is we muck out. Um, so this pig, she's unnamed. Perhaps someone, one of our viewers would like to name her. Um, she, this is her first litter of piglets. She is a Welsh white cross, a pie train. Now, as you can see, She's absolutely covered in mud, dry mud. She's obviously got hot in here when we had that heat wave. And if you see, this, is her, their bedding consists of two bits. They've got a track and they've got their bedding area. Um, so the piglets have played with the straw and absolutely disintegrated it. So we're going to put some fresh straw in and we're in the process of scraping out this track as well. But you can see it's wet from the drinker. Um, so it's nice, it's incense and inside wallow for her. Um, so that is her and her piglets. We've got some more piglets and we'll have, as we move along, we've got some more um, different stages of pigs for you to look at as well. So there we go. A little spotty throwback in the piglets. Our pig, is, our pig is being a great model while she's eating there. I think it's a good opportunity to show her udder. If you have a look, she's got one, two, three, for five filled udders on this side and then on the other side she's got three can you see that there's three that are bulging that means she's got eight in use or certainly seven of those are in use and that is because each of the piglets will have their own teat when they're born they will assign themselves a teat and um, when they do that that will be their teat that they stick with the strongest piglet will have teats closer to the front because I believe they have the most milk um, and the best flow of milk so they will get the best and the strongest and then if you ever heard the term runt of the litter that's always the smallest pig and they always get um, the leftover the last teats sometimes pigs have that many um, piglets that there's not enough teats to go around and that's why the runts usually die however this sow has got a very even litter and that's because it's quite a small number I mean some of these pigs can have litters of up to 20 even more sometimes um, but her litter is quite small which is good because it's her first litter they're all growing nice and evenly they're all quite happy if you grow into here they'll probably all run away and grunt a little bit there we go they're very inquisitive but they're also very playful there we go running around they're running what are you doing normally you just feed us you don't get the camera out so she's got ample milk for all of them so they're all growing really nice and evenly and really really well so haven't got too many worries about them um, we will introduce some hard feed to them probably when they are three weeks old so next week we might start introducing it the problem is mum will eat it as well so you can set up like a little creep feeding system where they um, can only access it themselves. But straw, pigs are really, really, really strong. And she'll probably destroy anything we put in her way. Um, you'll have a good idea when they want extra feeding because they'll start piling into mum's feed as well. Um, but they're a little bit small for it at the moment. So Charlie's back with some straw. We've got big bale straw. We break up the slices and put them in. Um, we don't really spread it out because the pigs like to do that. It's quite a nice enrichment for them. So we'll just chuck some um, sections of it in and they can have a good play with it and spread it out themselves. So these are some of our, what we call store pigs. They're coming up to finishing. Another sort of 
month or so. They are the same breed as these dudes. You see the piglets playing with the straw now. They're the same same breed, so they're la they're w Welsh cross pie train. Um, you can see that they're quite muscular. Nice size. Get a few pork chops off of them. Um, this is their feeder. Literally, pour some feed in there. You get it from under there. Now, naturally, pigs are really clean animals, so they won't poo where they sleep. So their beds are naturally nice and um, clean and tidy. Unlike the other farm animals, where we have to keep putting straw in to make it fresh, pigs are actually quite clean. They will poo in their poo area and keep their bed clean. That is, unless you are these. These dirty little pigs poo in their bed. So we're going to scrape all that out and put them some fresh in. But uh, they're very naughty. And pigs aren't normally like that. See, these are a lot bigger. Um, the kids don't come in with these because they are a bit bigger. They can be a little bit more bolshy. Um, pigs have got a very powerful jaw, so a bite would be quite damaging. So just in terms of safety... We try not to let the kids in here unless I'm in here with them and the pigs are being fed. But they're pretty docile, but I just never take the chance. So there we, so there we go. We've scraped out best we can. Um, put some fresh straw in and they're going to spread that now. That'll be their evening entertainment. They've even left their feed to go and spread shore. Let's have these little dudes. Nice bit of sunlight streaming through. They've obliterated their feed bucket to play in the straw. Mum just wants to eat her food. Um, we're all scraped out on this side. Try and scrape out every couple of days, if not every day, depending on the number of pigs. Um, something that you might also find interesting that this is their drinker. So it's connected to the water pipe. Now this is called a bite drinker, because what the pigs, pigs are actually really, really clever animals. And they just come along, bite the top bit, and water comes out, a bit like a water fountain, but for pigs. And again, very simple, very clean. They've always got fresh water. These pigs are a little bit further along than the last ones, you can see. Sort of here they are a lot thicker you can see their bottom is a lot rounder which means they're a lot more ready for meat um, excuse me you can't park there here's our other sow with piglet she's got eight in there somewhere she's also nameless so if any of our viewers would like to name her as well you'd be more than welcome This pick unit is in addition to Shane and Cherry who are at the farm. Cherry comes down here to have her piglets and then the two sows that you've seen on rotation come back to where Shane is um, so that he's always got a lady friend but they equally the, the lady friends also get a rest. And there we have it, day three. Longridge Farm, Farm Kids Summer. It would be really helpful if anyone watching would like this on YouTube and also subscribe to our channel um, and then you'll never miss out on any days. They may not always be able to share it on Facebook and Insta. Um, so it would be good if you could follow us or subscribe to us on um, YouTube as well.